Hey, Mom. <clears throat> Sorry I missed dinner. My committee meeting ran late. Well, what committee was that? Uh, students for Weapons in Space? <laughs> We can control inflation. We did it in California, and we can do it for America. The time is now for Reagan. Ronald Reagan, the actor? Yes. Good evening. I am Ronald Reagan speaking for General Electric. In the 80s, there was this thing called Reaganomics. Reaganomics works for you. Or as Charo like to say, Reaganomics. Coochie, coochie. Coochie, coochie to you too, man. Well, I really know John Hinckley, she's the president in 81. I didn't know I was shot. And there was a kick ass show on TV called The Greatest American Hero. Look at what's happened to me. I can't believe it myself. Suddenly so his name was Ralph Hinckley in the show. So halfway through the show's run, he had to change his last name. I didn't know I was shot. Let's look at some of the best picture winners of the 1980s. Chariots of Fire. This is a story of two men who run. Not to run, but to prove something to the world. Ordinary people. In this typical town, in this comfortable home, three ordinary people are about to live an extraordinary story. Rain Man. Of course, I'm an excellent driver. Gets me drive slow on the driveway. What is this? Who is this guy? Raymond is your brother. My brother? I, I don't have a brother. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? They were all about retarded people. Of course, I don't have my underwear. What? I wanna be loved by you. I'd bang Blanche Devereaux in a second. I say we just cast caution to the wind, get butt naked, and have a good time. In the 80s, they said greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. And Coke is good too. Look what greed and Coke got us today. Winning, you borrow my brain for five seconds and just be like, dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. I'm by winning. I win here and I win there. Now what? Everyone to coke in <laughs> I do coke uh, so I can work longer. So I can earn more. So I can do more coke. Turns out coke sort of kills you. <laughs> Man, I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear. Go. <laughs> that's what I call marine biology. <laughs> I got three words for you. Back to school. Guess who's getting some class? I'm going to college. Another two. Rodney Dangerfield. I'll tell you what then. Why don't you call me sometime when you have no class? I love Sally Kellerman and back to school. What's that not? It's a party. They're not midterms, remember? They're just blowing off steam. She had the sexiest voice, which was also the voice of Hidden Valley Ranch. New honey Dijon Ranch. Tangy Dijon mustard and sweet honey. Blended with the original ranch dressing. Discover Tangy Sweet Honey Dijon Ranch. What a woman. Little known fact, it was actually shot where I went to school, Madison, Wisconsin. So what? So what? So let's dance! Caddyshack came out in 1980. I said freeze, go first! Caddyshack was great. Everybody loves it. Everybody quotes it. Everybody's inspired by it. I was born to lick your face. I was born to rub you. But you were born to rub me first. Now, there's somebody who's so inspired by it, he fucked a hundred thousand bitches. Tiger Woods. I was unfaithful. I had affairs. I cheated. What I did is not acceptable. 
Well, because that article suggests that Tiger Woods did pay you, paid you money, and they, in fact, gave you some of, some of the money for liposuction. <laughs> All of it is completely false. Judd Apatow is producing the next Pee Wee Herman movie. So does that mean Jonah Hill is going to be playing Cherry and Seth Rogen is going to be playing the mailman? I hope not. I think Lawrence Fishburne's coming back to be the mailman. And he better channel his Ike Turner. You can't get away from me, eh? And I'm in here. And beat the shit out of Pee Wee and the bitches. Every 10 seconds of every hour of every business day, America puts a brand new Epson computer or printer to work. I miss the old ladies' computer paper that would print out all in one sheet and it was fun because you had to tear off the edges. Dude, can't handle it. Unplug this bastard. Let's roll. Bad 3D. Oh, yeah.